Best Conversations Podcast, Killer TV, High Definition, Vaughn, Killer Be The Name, Don't Ask How I Got It. Happy Holidays, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Best Conversations Podcast. We thank everybody for tuning in, tapping in, watching, you know, coming back. You know, happy holidays again. Uh, hope everybody is enjoying this time with their families and all this Christmas shopping and, you know, the whole the whole ordeal, you know what I mean? Enjoy it, have fun with it, because eventually, you know, it's all over and we act like we don't care about each other no more. So, <laughs> enjoy it, man. Uh, again, I'm Killer TV. Uh, Rello's gone. Rello, what up, Rello? Rello's up in NYC doing his uh, one-two thing. Uh, and also, no new future Flash. Uh, I don't know where new future Flash is either. So, salute to my guys, new future Flash and Rello. But I got my dog, Jose, stepping in on his super producer shit, uh, holding us down. And so, yeah, that's how we rock it. So, um, tonight, I got a returning guest. Man, this, this, this gentleman... Um, it's funny as fuck. Um, he is, uh, we met probably like two years ago, maybe three, some, somewhere like that. Um, it went viral then and, you know, and I was like, yo, I got to get you on the podcast. Uh, man, just a great, genuine overall person. Welcome back to the podcast. Bama got jokes. <laughs> you was damn Bama funny at one right. time. Right. <laughs> What's up, my boy? What's up, man? How, How are you? Maintaining, man. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays. Yeah, man. I'm going to have to giggle. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's get it, man. How you been, man, since the last time I seen you? Been good, man. A lot is going on in my life. Got a new job, new fan base. Just man. enjoying life, man. New, definitely new fan base, man. Yeah. The new, the, let's, speak on the new, let's speak on the new fan base, man. Like... Last time, you know, you was, you know, doing the, the internet stuff and, you know, um, you know, the FaceTime stuff, but now you just hit a new resurgence with the whole, uh, I guess, the, you know, busting your ass slash football stuff. Man, how did you know this was the, the new lane to go in? I don't know, man. I just saw, like, people, like, getting hurt by inanimate objects, so I was like, what if those objects can go to... Like turning, like go to the league. Mm -hmm. I can make them go to the league. So I just put put my eyes and mouth on whoever got hurt, mm -hmm. and just said a little line, start laughing, and then it took off. Like my first video was about a dog tackling a lady. So I was like, Brandy, Brandy Perina, University of Miami, go Canes. So I was like, Brandy Perina. Go, like Hurricane University of Miami, go Hurricane. <laughs> and that video got 20 million views. 20, 20 what? 20 million views <laughs> on Instagram, man. Whoa. Insane, man. Insane. Mm. So after that video, I just kept like consistent with it. So, and then everybody just DM me or either tell me, hurry up and make a video. So I'm thankful for that. I don't have to look for videos. They get sent they to me. They get sent to you. Yeah. Man, that that is that is crazy, man. It's, it's just like, it's like you the new uh, America's funniest home videos now. Yeah, like man. I'm taking I'm taking Raleigh, but well, North Carolina by storm. Mm. I'm I already know I'm the funniest in Raleigh, so ain't no shots being sent. But <laughs> my boy said he the funniest in North Carolina, man. <laughs> that's that's what he that's that's what he said, man. Yeah, man. I'm ready to just get back out there and do stand up. So. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was telling you yeah. when you was on the podcast. You know, a couple years back, I was like, "Man, you got to get on that stage, man, yeah, man. And, and 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 definitely do your thing, man." I've been told I talk too much, and I like to talk. So, hey, man, might as well get up there. Hey, let's, let's well, let's have some conversation then, man. Right, <laughs> get it. Have some conversation. All right, man. So other so the other night, man, uh, I jumped on your live. Mm -hmm. You was you and found out you was a Jaguars fan. Yeah, man. You explained it in the live, but to the viewing public, somebody that's from North Carolina, man. how the hell are you a Jaguars fan? So back in 
Madden. When Madden was good and not complicated, back in 07. It's not that complicated. Yeah, it's not. But back to in, me anyway. Yeah, back in um, 07, when Sean, Al- Sean Alexander was on Sean the- Alexander, number 37 for the Seahawks. He was on the cover. So I was at the Boys and Girls Club, and I, we was just picking random teams. Well, my cousin, he liked the Colts. So I was like, let me get the Jags. And I beat I beat him with the Jags, and I've been a fan ever since 07. So, wow! I, Mad, it's Madden's fault. I'm a Jaguars fan. You and Lil Duval. Du- oh man, not Duval. <laughs> <laughs> Duval be giving us bad luck, man. <laughs> That's crazy. He from Duval County, right? Yeah, he from Duval County, Lil man. Duval. Du- Lil, Lil Duval, man. Do you think sports betting is hurting? Cause like dudes at work, bro. All these dudes at work talk about is prize picks, prize picks. You pick your lineup. I'm like, y'all are some fiends, man. What, what is wrong with you guys, man? Do you think, um, do you think sports betting is helping or hurting, like, consuming sports right now? I think it's helping. Well, it's helping people get paid because I'm sure as hell not good at it. <laughs> like I'm one in twelve on my little fantasy right now. I'm the, I'm at the bottom. I, and, I, and I feel like fantasy. I feel like um, sports betting has like overshadowed fantasy. fantasy. Yeah, man. So I don't. Even, I mean, I'm losing money in fantasy. So <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the bet. I mean, it's. I feel like if you don't got the money, don't don't play. I guess. Mm. It ain't hurting me. I just I just feel like man like. Like, man, just enjoy the game. Like, you know what I mean? All this betting and shit, these motherfuckers going to need to call, like, the 1-800 number here in a minute, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like these, these motherfuckers be betting, boy. I'm, like, like, once I see these motherfuckers at work, man, they be like, man, you put your parlay in, you prize yeah. picks. I'm like. I hear that word a lot, man, but I be thinking they talking about Desi. Desi Banks. <laughs> <and> parlay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is they talking about him for? <laughs> bro, I ain't even real, I don't think. <laughs> I don't even think, bro, real. Is he real? No, he's not real. Oh, okay. No, he's, de- he's definitely, he definitely not, he definitely not real at all. But yeah, man, I don't understand it to be honest. The little bets and stuff. I don't, I don't really understand it all that well, either, because I've, I've never like bet on that. Me, me personally, I'm like a real legit, for real, for real, football fan. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, man. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't have a team per yeah. se, but no, I follow no players. Panthers. No Panthers, man. They. No, I mean, I like so I, I like the Panthers, but I, ever since Cam Newton left, I just can't can't really get into it. I'm telling. Now the quarterback is the same height as me. I'm like, how is he playing? How is he playing? How is right? he playing, man? I think the Panthers gonna regret not getting C.J. Stroud. I'm telling. You. That's who I thought they was gonna get, man. But C.J. He doing work. He got the most like yards in yeah. NFL right now. He killing it. He killing it. Yeah, so, man. So I, Shout out to C.J. Stroud. I man. think Panthers just need to get rid of Tepper as well. The whole they just need to redo the whole team, man. Mm. Yeah, I I don't think we heading in but the right you, direction. But are y'all you you still like I feel I can still go? Somewhere oh yeah, yeah, we're going to the playoffs. That's that's all for real. <laughs> y'all going to the playoffs? Going to the play- I don't know about the Cowboys, but <laughs> they used to be my team. Oh man, see that the Cowboys used to be my team. Oh man, but the whole Kaepernick shit. Yeah. I did the whole Oh what what happened with that? No, 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 no. With the Kaepernick shit, like I boycotted the NFL. Okay. Like I was like, I ain't watching yeah. it they they doing Kaepernick wrong. Yeah, bro. And then when Jerry was like, if you niggas kneel, <laughs> you, I'm not paying you niggas. <laughs> so Basically. So the Basically. whole the Kaepernick shit really I was like I was like, fuck the Cowboys. Yeah. So um Damn. Damn like, know yeah, that. So so yeah, I said I definitely Super Bowl pick before we get up off before we get up off sports, got a Super Bowl pick. Like who t- the two that's going? Mm-hmm. I don't want the Chiefs to go, so I say it'd be nice to see the Jags and Philly in there. Jags and Philly. Yeah, man. Damn. <laughs> that might not happen. <laughs> it but might. It probably not. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Jalen Hurts, he hurt for real, right? Yeah, he hurt for real. Damn. Yeah, he hurt for real. Um, if I had to have a Super Bowl pick. Yeah. Give me, give me 49ers, 49ers for the NFC. Shit, who the fuck in the AFC? 
Dolphins. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dolphins. 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 Tyreek. Mm-hmm. Tyreek. Yeah. Give me. Give me. Um, give me. Give me. Do- give me dolphins. <laughs> give me dolphins. And give me 49ers. That's my Super Bowl pick. Okay. I don't. It's something about the 49ers. I don't like Purdy. Mm. I don't like Purdy or the uh, Cincinnati's quarterback, the backup quarterback. Oh yeah, yeah, because he beat y'all. Yeah, man. <laughs> and he just, he just so like he don't care that he beat us. He just knew. Like I don't know. Somebody's attitude, man. Mm. But they beat us, so yeah, it is. Shouldn't have won, but it's all good. All right, man. So, Bama, you watch the show. We like to kick the week off, get the people going, keep the people talking. Question of the week. Uh-oh. This is this is where it gets a little a little dicey. And with your shirt on, yeah. it's even even more even more better question of the week. Before we get into so question enough. of the week, get the people the backstory about your shirt, man. So it says, I appreciate the apology. I don't want a relationship anymore. Sorry. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I tried something with this girl I I went to um, college with, like I liked her and whatnot. Where you went to school at? I went to Peace, man, William Peace University. What, right there in downtown Raleigh. Yeah, I transferred from Fayetteville State. Okay, okay. Had to get Bronco out of Fayette. Bronco Pride. Yeah, man, had to get out of Fayette now. Nah, get man. away from them niggas. The Merc, them niggas. Them <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas bro. <laughs> them niggas. Woo! I almost got robbed for my Chinese food, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I took. I never dropped food so fast in my life, bro. But they yeah, was apparently the they was playing. They was playing? Yeah, like, bro, my fr- roommate told me he pulled out a pencil. But he was reaching, so I just dropped my Chinese food and took the hell off, bro. <laughs> Ran all the way back to my dorm, little can't, freshman. Can't play with the veal. Nah, I had to get up out of there. So I went to peace, and that's where I tried to find love, apparently. But I chose another girl over her, this one. So I don't know. I feel like it's karma. <laughs> where, where, you, where you think shit went wrong? Uh, shit, not agreeing. I don't know. She just she just wanted everything her way. Mm. Yeah, so I said, nah. Because she's daddy's girl. Okay. Oh, mm-mm. Gotcha. Yeah, man. All right, so our question of the week is, uh, could you be sick? Could you date somebody seriously that your homeboy has already slept with? I knocked it down. <laughs> knocked it down. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Oh, they, man. Didn't, they didn't work out. Mm-hmm. And you said, like, fuck it. You know what I mean? You, y'all vibing, y'all connecting like shit. I like mean, you for real. I did that in college. Shit. It was just the girl I chose <laughs> was getting knocked down. <laughs> she was getting knocked down. <laughs> but come to find out, <laughs> she was getting laid down, bro. I'm talking about. By a lot of dudes, and I, it's crazy me. I picked her up, man. I, I started talking to her <laughs> like something crazy. So, yeah, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I mean, if she done with that, I don't know, man. What you think? <laughs> Could I date somebody at uh, home with? Well, now I'm grown, so it's like. It just depends on if he slutted out. Yeah. Like, if he said he slutted out. All right. Like he like, yeah, man, I slutted that bit out. Right. He slutted out. I can't do nothing with her. Like, like Santa Claus face. <laughs> if he did that, <laughs> if he did that, that's a no no. That's a no no. Yeah, it just depends on if if and the level of on what level homeboy. Like yeah. If, like if it's like one of if it's one of my close homeboys. Yeah. You know what I mean. It, it depends on like did he just hit it, right. or was that his chick? Now if it was right. his chick, then nah. Yeah, yeah, like my homeboy, like my best friend. If he, like if I, if he, cause he got an ex. If I try to talk to her, that's that's no, nah, I, I can't do that because mm-hmm. that's like his. Ex. And we grew up together, so mm-hmm. yeah, I wouldn't even try that. I'm sure he wouldn't try that either because it's like I'm not attracted to you because you was little sus. Mm-hmm. So yeah, mm. so. Any girl like my homeboy is with that I treat her like sister, so yeah. So, yeah. It, just, it, it I mean, it just depends, you know. what I mean, like, um, 
Yeah, if he like if he slutted out, I can't I can't yeah. do nothing with it. But if you know if it was just like a nice like cool relationship, they might have they might have hooked up once or twice. Man, we all grown now. You know yeah, what I mean? we grown, bro. I'm about to be thirty next year. So thirty next year. Yeah, man. Hey, man, I'm gonna be forty in two years. Okay. So I already know. So. Yeah, I'm and, grown, man. Yeah, so it, that 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 little stuff right there don't don't really bother me that much yeah. at, at all. Like if yeah. if you know if you don't if if you let that type of shit bother you, then you know you probably a little insecure. You are a little kid. Yeah, to me. yeah. Little kid. I'm yeah, pretty man. sure all these girls that we know probably been <laughs> laid down. <laughs> Lay you down, man. Are you, are you ready to get back in something serious again? Yeah, man. I mean, I kind of want to rekindle things back with old girl, but it's like. Damn, she got you sprung, my boy. Oh, no. No. Never that. <laughs> never that. But it's like, I'm just tired of this little shit. It's like, little in, in and out relationship. I'm tired of that, bro. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to come home to something. Ready to come home to some nice yeah. little cook meal. Yeah, man. You're a good country boy, man. You you deserve a nice. I'm telling you, man. Nice little woo wop. Tell you, man. You might have to go back to Zeblin. Oh no, nah. can't go back there either. Ain't nothing in there. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing in Zeblin that I want. You might have to go back to Zeblin, man. Go back to Zeblin, get you a nice old good country girl in Zeblin. Yeah. All she got to do is know how to cook spaghetti. My standards, <laughs> it ain't low, but it's like she. The spaghetti got to be. I heard. I, I heard through the grapevine. If you um, eat a girl's spaghetti, man, uh, that gets you like hooked. You know what I mean? Yeah. I heard don't and eat it. Maybe eat it with my spaghetti. This is what I hear. And, and maybe that's what it is. I need to eat a girl's spaghetti so it, we could be locked in. Cause I ain't ate no girl's spaghetti. Ain't no girl cook me spaghetti. They be cooking like simple shit. You know, the chicken Alfredo be the. That, that, that's like the I'm first tired of that to. shit. <laughs> I'm tired. My boy Bevis ain't, ain't enough I'm chicken out there, though. I'm tired of that shit, man. Plus, it give you the bubble guts, and I don't even... Yeah. I don't be trying to be gassy, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Where, where, where would, um, in your new relationship, what would be the first... What would be, what'd be an ideal first date for you? Hmm. I'd be trying to do, like, shit on the TV, like picnics and shit. Like, the last girl, she ain't want to go camping. I want to I mean, be. In, I want to go camping. I want to be in the woods in the tent. I don't want to go. I don't want to go camping, Bama. She talking about RV a whole a cabin. Oh, man, be one with nature. <laughs> they don't want to go. They don't want to yeah. go. But go I ideal date probably somewhere to eat, man. Girls love to eat. They love. They love to eat. Love to eat, man. Yeah, they 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 definitely. As long as you that. can feed her and make her happy um, and laugh, you got her. What about sex on the first date? We grown, man. Hey, whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not looking for it, but hey, if it happens, I ain't going to look at you no differently mm. that you gave the cheeks up first day. Because mm. we grown, man. Mm. That 30 days, 90 days, and all. Nah, man, we grown, man. We're in the Christmas season. Um, How much the Christmas gift should be if you just started dating somebody for, in the first few months? Hmm. Well, my dumb ass was about to buy her a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to buy her ass a fucking iPad, Lord. four five hundred dollars. So I guess it don't matter to me. Mm. It don't matter. All I wanted was some underwears and socks. Come on, man, you ain't yeah. that simple, Bama. Yeah, hell yeah. If she underwear and socks. If she wrapped a bowl of spaghetti and gave me some underwears and socks, I'm satisfied. Man, let's hook Bama. Man, we gotta hook Bama up, man. Man, come on, man. Just underwears and socks. Underwears man. That's and it, socks, man. man. I'd be so happy. No PS4, nah, five. What's, what's I can, I can get that. I can get that myself. Man, underwear and underwears socks. Underwears and socks. As a kid, I ain't want that, but now. Mm. Uh, go ahead and give me that. It's fine. That's it. That's it, man. Damn. I'm one of them country dudes that like to make sure the woman happy, man. Mm. So me, I'm with that like that with all my friends. I make sure they straight before me. Mm. Friends or family. So. Me per me personally. Okay, say okay, now say if I been dating some I started dating what month it's just December. December. Okay, say I started dating someone, let's say 
Mm, let's say September. September. Uh, yes, say September. Mm-hmm. Um, and we we're getting serious. We're going strong. Um, I feel like a good two fifty cap is yeah. is you know is yeah reasonable, reasonable yeah. for a good Christmas gift. Yeah. But nowadays, girls just want, like, maybe some support or something like a Pandora charm or something like that. That line be ridiculous at the mall. Man. Close to get the Christmas. Support. I had bought this little-ass perfume. That shit was $40. Mm. It looked like it had two sprays in there, man. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that Not was two it. Sprays. Two sprays, man. Two sprays. That's it? That was it. But, I mean... Like when it comes to gifts, it don't really matter to me. As long as she happy. Mm. Simple, man. We gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta hook you I'm up. I'm telling you, man. man. I'm simple. Simple man. Simple man. They just don't know how to act, man. Man, the the, the lady that, that that wrote that text, man, you are missing out on your <laughs> blessing. You are missing out on your blessing. Hurting is good. Corporate career black man. I got two. Two streams of income. Two streams. You, you know, he just told me what he make a month on Instagram. You know what I mean? Oh, it's a good black man, ladies. What, what, what do you? What? Look, no what kids. Are you, no kids, man. That's got to change. Rent, though. rent high as hell here in Raleigh. So, yeah. you know what I mean? You got to know he, he, he doing, he doing all right, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. So, you rocking with Shorty? Mm. Y'all getting to know each other? Do you even ask about the body counts? Is that is that a? I mean, I, is, that, is that a question? Is, is that a, is that a question that should be asked in a relationship? Um, what's your body count? Shit, uh, body count matters to a certain extent. I wouldn't say it matter. I don't know if she wild got about forty. That thing, <laughs> that thing flapping. <laughs> <laughs> That thing Dumbo with the ear. <laughs> that thing, I don't know, man. But body count, I wouldn't just ask that off rip. Like, I mean, I probably can tell if we get down to business. If you had, yeah, flappers. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Body count really, I mean, if she asked mine. I I asked hers, so I mean it, it won't. It ain't no question. I used to ask it when I was when you young. That's, yeah, when you that's young. Yeah, you young. young right? Yeah, you hell young. yeah. When you get grown, you just realize, motherfucker, motherfucker, you fuck. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Right. You been, shit. You been fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like to fuck. So, shit, I don't know. <laughs> body like body count. I'm thirty eight. Like I, I don't. Yeah. Well, I look like asking somebody. You know what I mean? They they body count. Now what I would ask is like if you if I dealt with you and you say you a stripper, and I'd be like, uh. Yeah. I, did. I, I know, dude, I don't be going down in them private rooms in Ricks. Right, man. If you're a stripper, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna need strippers to may stay clean. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, I ain't no issue with strippers, man. Dancers, they don't like to be called strippers. They don't like to be called strippers? Entertainers. Entertainers. I guess. I don't know. Mm. But stri- I don't know, man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even try to approach a stripper, though. Really? Wouldn't even try to, man. Niggas be wiping them up. But shit, do they change their lives around? I be trying to help them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I be trying to help them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, look, why? Why are you in here? Yeah. yeah like, 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 why? Why are you in here? But I don't. But I don't think body body counts. It doesn't matter to me if yeah. I was, if I was single. Um, you know what I mean? It but I'm just saying, like, if we was like if we was kicking it and you told me like in your pet, you know, you used to be a stripper, then I'd be like, uh, what's your then I'd be thinking like, damn. <laughs> but how many? <laughs> just come That's across the like, yeah. like how many, yeah, how many people you done you done mess with? You right. know what I mean? So yeah. that'd be the that'd be the only reason. But if you just like you know, you just been dating. You've been, you know, what I mean, you've been probably divorced a couple. You know, mm. probably was divorced or some shit like that. Yeah. Or you just, you know, you just a little cougar or something. I, yeah. I'm, I'm just kind of. But I, I, I mean, cause my body count fairly low. Cause you gotta be, you gotta. I don't know. 
It just I don't I mean, fuck can, anything. Can we? Can we? Should we? I just went to ten. Just went to ten. Just went to ten. Oh man, that's so yeah, man. Low thirty, almost thirty. Man, this is a good black man, y'all. That's a good <laughs> black man. I'm telling you, man. Almost thirty years old, only ten. 10. Man, on my hands, man. Well, yeah, man. Sheesh, man. I, I I would tell you mine, right. Lord. <laughs> Lord, I'm yeah. telling you, dog. I couldn't tell you mine, my boy. I'll just be staying out the way, man. But oh, now it might go to double that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's like now I'm in my phase. You ever, like, had, you ever had a one night stand? No. I had a girl sleep over and nothing happened. You bring her home from the, from the bar, club, club whatever. And Nate, nothing happened. Nothing. Hey, man. You yeah. just, you she teach, just wanted you, you to cuddle. Teach, you can teach Pub Daddy a few things. Yeah, because that joker right there, man, off the chain. <laughs> I ain't going to speak too much on Pub. <laughs> that, that man off the chain. That's all y'all need to know. He off the chain. <laughs> I've had my share of one night stands. Yeah, man. Mm. It would be nice, but shit, I don't know. These, I don't know. I don't know. I'd be trying to stay clean as possible. <laughs> stay clean as possible, man. Hey, man. I, at one time in my life, man, I'm like, I didn't have a good night. Mm -hmm. It wasn't considered a good night to me if I didn't go home. With some. With some. That yeah. was like. Yeah. It was like, yeah. and you would talk to your homeboy the next day. You'd be like, man, club whack as fuck, bro. Yeah. I ain't leave that bit with nothing. 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 You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I was literally like. At one point in my life, it was literally like, yo, I had to leave. If if I had to leave the club with something. Yeah, man. I mean, I went now, through that now phase. Now, yeah. now realizing how dangerous that shit is. Like, these, like you know how ratchet right. these hoes is. Set like, you yeah, up, man. They will set you up. Set you, you up. Know what now, I mean? now that I got a, like, a little following, I try to stay low key. Because mm -hmm. I don't know what these girls' intentions are, man. Like, mm. Set you up. I'm going to have to start letting girls sign NDAs, You man. better. Because I've, I've been recorded without permission, bro. Really? Yeah. Wow. An argument. I had to let her know. Mm. I'm going to take your ass to the police. <laughs> you show anybody, your ass going to jail. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, yeah. That, that, used, that, that used to be me, man. That mm -hmm. used to be me, man. I had to, I had to motherfucking leave the club with some. Yeah. And, 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 you know, I mean, that's just, that was just, just, just the way... We used to rock, man, so. That's why I wish I was born, like, I wish I was a teenager in, like, the 80s, man. Shit, you be, you be, you be on that Coke. Oh, no. Nah. You be on that, man. Coca-Cola. No, <laughs> no, no. The, 80s, the 80s and Coke were just like, oh, no. they just ran together. That was just how it was. That just, that just how Hell, it was. No. The Coke they in the do, 80s. They didn't do the tweeds in the 80s? No, nah, man. Uh, man. I thought that was what Ray Charles and them were doing. Nah, he was doing that in crap. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Ray Charles, man, that joker. So that's probably why he was moving like that. I used to think he was moving like that because he was blind. And he was trying to get a feel of the, yeah, the yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the damn coat. Cool. Now, now, I do wish I was, like, older in the 90s and shit. Yeah. Like, that, that was, like... Man, nineties was a vibe, man. A vibe like, was a was a was a vibe. Man, I used to watch like my uh, uncles and cousins get ready for like the little club and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean, I'd be like, Damn. that's when the house phone and you throw or you outside of a girl window throw a rock, call on the house phone, write love letters, pager, right? Mm, yeah, pager. Mm. I've never had a pager, but you know I. I, I saw I my mom's pager. She had the Bell South. Remember the, Bell yeah, South? Yeah, I remember Bell South. The blue one, the little flip yeah, up. Yeah, I remember Bell South. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That was. I, I definitely wish I was definitely born. I just got an old era. soul, anyway. So you do got that old soul, man. Yeah, man. I listen to liquor house music. Yeah. King George. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Marvin C's. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got to leave, baby. That's my type of music. Yeah. Right there. What's been popping out there in Zeppelin? I seen you went back for the uh, little bonfire. bonfire yeah, man, shit, that right. was that was jumping, man. It was it was. It's just all country folks just come together and just get drunk or and sit around the fire. That fire be hot as hell too. Mm. But yeah, man, they do it every year, man. I try to go back and support. 
try to promote it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man, that's my hometown. Yeah, so out there, all the folks out there in good old Zeblin. Yeah, man, Out Tots. there riding horses and shit. Yeah, man. I remember watching that show that they was uh, in Zeblin. They were riding Oh, horses. Black Country. Black Country. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. It was out there riding the horses and shit. Yeah, yeah, man. That, that's dope as shit, man. Boosie. Uh, this, so, this, so this is a question um, from my guy, uh, Terrell. Mm -hmm. He asked me... Um, uh, do you think Boosie is going broke? I'm guessing when he asked me that question was because like he's like coming for everybody. Yeah, like, so asking Rod Wave, Rod for money. Wave, and for money. come to find out that's not even his song. They said, right? That's what I heard. Yeah, so mm. I think he is, man. Cause you think Boosie going broke? I don't know. I mean, he got money, but. What is he getting paid from? Wipe me down? I, I mean, I guess shows. He do a lot of shows. Boozy do a lot of shows. He do, he do a lot of well, shows. Yeah, he, yeah. I mean. So do they get paid when they music get played on the radio or? Um, or I'm, the, pre I'm pretty sure like. When the fraternities use it, because you know they use Wipe Me Down. Wipe Me Down, right. Yeah, so. Um, I'm pretty sure the majority of Boozy money is shows. Yeah. Uh, he definitely. So you're definitely. definitely killing that chick chitlin circuit in the in the South. You know, people love Boosie. Yeah. Um I don't think Boosie going broke. I mean, me personally, um I mean it's Boosie. I feel like other celebrities are helping them out and stuff. If he do, ever do. That's why I don't think uh, any celebrity like Jay Holiday, he was just on doing the I show. See, I see that, bro. <laughs> Damn. He looked crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, man. What the fuck happened to Jay Holiday? I don't know, man. That nigga looked crazy. He, they said, <laughs> he shaped like one of them Hispanic dads. <laughs> what the hell happened to Jay Holiday? Somebody know, put man. his ass to bed. His stomach just <laughs> filled, I don't know, filled with beer. That's. Jay Holiday, <laughs> I don't know Jay Holiday. <laughs> he really fell off, but he, apparently he got money still. You think so? Yeah, like Light, well, mute. What's his name? Light, uh, yeah, Light him Jennings. and Jennings are like they like almost could be like the same person. Same almost. person, man. Mm. Life Jan Jennings still got that potted meat beard. Man. <laughs> <laughs> like that's crazy, bro. I I don't like that beard. I had it and I was like, nah, let me cut that off. And you 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 was definitely rocking that for for a while. Yeah, man, it wouldn't connect, man. I won't eat enough fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> it won't connect. The it. problem was you won't eat that fertilizer from the back. Right. Oh, that's what See. it was. I mean, I do, but I ain't got man. You gotta eat the fertilizer from the back. From the boy. back. Yeah, you and know. And then it get the it. like the dirt. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the dirt. You know uh, what I mean. Uh. It helps it, you know. You gotta have that fertilizer. thing clean. Clean. Yeah. yeah, man. Suck toes. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, man. Me Ain't too. nothing wrong. Yeah. White toes. Everything on a woman's body is edible. Yeah. Them white toes, though. Yeah. Woof. Everything on a girl's body is edible, for sure. Not everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. Head to toe. Head to toe. Head to toe. I definitely. But I'm grown now, man. We grown, man. <laughs> Niggas be acting like, oh, I don't eat that old dude. Man, we grown. Get out of here. We grown. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I grown. Do. They lying. They cap. I definitely give everything a little, a little taste. I try anything once. Yeah, man. Try anything. I don't say I'm eating booty now. Like, you know. Whoa. You know, uh. Get a wife, you gotta eat that booty. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, my wife now, yeah, yeah, but eat that booty, man. not for a one night stand. Huh? She probably been farting oh, all no, night no, no. in you the club. Can't eat no booty on the first night. No, nah. <laughs> yo, you eat, yo, you eat booty on the first night. You a wild nigga, dog. Wild. You a wild nigga, dog. I'm, you need to be you, you, in you, jail. You, <laughs> you about like you about like the nigga that uh the nigga that's uh uh uh, uh doing the fucking shit with Ruby Red that he um oh, oh he, he's a highest payer or he, something. He, he, yeah, he like the highest paid nigga that's on Ruby Red's uh, OnlyFans. Only fans. I'm and like, bro, nigga like that. That's he's that crazy. nigga spent a hundred grand on Ruby crazy. Red last year and not getting none. 
Ain't crazy. Not getting none. Ruby, 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 Ruby Red. Red. That's what Ruby, Ruby Red. Red. <laughs> I'm an old nigga. But it's my probably bad. a stripper Ruby, called Ruby Red. Ruby Red. Ruby Red. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm an old nigga. But yeah, he's Ruby Red. Yes. He's wild. He's not getting Who anything. Is Ruby Red? I don't even. What, what does she do? I'm pretty sure it's a stripper. Sexy red. How you feel about sexy red, man? Sexy red. I seen her little sex tape on on, on Instagram. Oh no, Twitter. Yeah, it won't. Yeah. That shit was weak. Weak. Like she won't even entertain. That's mm. weak. I don't know, but she got pregnant. So. Yeah, she been kind of quiet since that sex tape came out. She still be shaking ass, pregnant and all. Is she pregnant right now? Pregnant. Damn. But still shake that ass and do all this. And yeah, mm. man, she's a she. But hey, man, I'm not knocking nobody hustle, man. Mm. I'm not knocking anybody hustle. You get money, you get money. Hell. Who your celebrity crush? Even though people say she don't wash her ass. <laughs> what? It's Summer <laughs> Walker, man. <laughs> people be getting up. They need to cool out on Summer Walker. That's Bay. She need to stop, but her and Meech be looking dirty, bro. You see Meech fingernails? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro. I seen Meech today on that uh, video. Who the foe? I ain't been let me fucking roll right. every time. I just want her, Summer, if you watching this, just leave that man alone and get you a country boy who go eat you right and cook for you. <laughs> mm. That's all. What you cooking for Summer Walker first night? What first cooking, night? Which I, I mean, you know, on a date, what you cooking for Summer? I'm going to have to show her how spaghetti really made. Ooh. That's my specialty. I cook that means, spaghetti. okay. But yeah, man, that's, that's been my crush for the longest. She got three kids. I don't care. I'm just, I can be stepdad. My only my only crush is Nikki Parker. Nikki Parker, who that? Oh, Monique. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Monique. People got an attitude with her still from Precious, man. Hey, nah. She was mean as fuck. Yeah, I, that's, I only watched that movie once, bro. She's so mean, bro. Yeah. My, my my crush ain't really Nikki Parker for real. Uh, what's her name? What's her name said that in the uh, J Cole song? Uh, Lil Lil Uzi, Lil Yachty. I don't know which one. Nikki Parker. Whichever one of the niggas is. My uh, my celebrity crush. I do like him big. Right. Jill Scott. Jill Scott. I think Jill Scott a freak, man. Yeah, when she, she was doing all that shit to the mic. She a freak. Yeah. She a freak. And I know she can cook. Yeah. You can tell by her arms. If it shit do the little flap, flap you definitely Ooh. top chef. <laughs> hey, if, if your if your shit do the flap, top you, chef, man. Top chef, the the uh, potato salad is That's amazing, what I'm saying, man. Uh, That's what I'm ready for. I miss. Like, I ain't had no good good home cooked meal in a long time. Kick this thing before we go, man. We always like to do top fives. Top five. Uh oh. Top fives. So, in because it's the holiday spirit. Since we in good holiday spirit, mm -hmm. what is your top five favorite Christmas movies of all the time? First one, Friday after next. My, that's my number one, too. Number one, bro. I have to watch that. I'm, Everyone. Yeah. I used to watch the Christmas story every, yeah. every Christmas. Then now I watch yeah. Friday after next every Christmas. Yeah, so it's Friday after next. Um, probably Ralphie, a Christmas story. I don't really like that, though. So... Uh, what's Home Alone? The Christmas one when? What's, when, what's when that, that, is that is that two or one? Which one is two? Home Alone. I think it's one. One was the Christmas one. Yeah. Yeah, because he was at the house. Yeah. So it's yeah. Uh, what is it? Friday after next? Home Alone, Christmas Story. Uh, shit. Uh, that's all I know really. Elf. Oh, Elf is a good. One. Elf funny. Elf is good, it's funny as hell. I ain't know Will Ferrell rock with North Carolina like that, man. He do a lot of his movies based off North Carolina. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, heard that. his family, somebody is from here. I don't know who it is or moved here. His brother. His brother. His nephew went to state high school. Okay. See? Okay. So he do a lot of, like the campaign movie, that shit was funny as fuck, man. When he was a, a running for gut or something, a district in North Carolina. Mm hmm And then, you know, uh, what's the Tyler Gate? Tap. Damn. Talladega, Talladega Nights. Yeah, that shit is funny. That ain't a Christmas movie, but that shit funny. But yeah, that's my top three. I don't got no other four and five. Um, oh, this Christmas? I mean, man, I don't know. That movie. Give me um, Best Man Holiday. Best, I ain't seen it. 
Come on, you seen Best Man Holiday. Oh. Holiday with heart. Best Man, you seen the best, <laughs> you seen the best man, though. Uh-uh. You seen the best but I ain't, man. I ain't seen a lot of black movies that I got my black car revoked. I ain't. You ain't never seen the best man. I ain't seen Juice. I ain't seen. I ain't seen. Uh, what's the one? Uh, what's the one with Tupac in? Uh, Above the rim. I ain't seen that. I ain't seen Poetic Justice. I ain't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen none of them shit. Uh, what's the one? How to don't be a menace. I ain't never seen that. But it just, it just AIDS or something? Like, I don't know. Like, I just didn't get around to him. I ain't never seen them movies, man. I want to see Juice bad. I, <laughs> I ain't never seen him. I like, my favorite movie of all time is Temptations. That's, good movie, good movie. That's my movie, man. That's my, and Major Pain. I love Major Pain. I see Major Pain in high school. I'm not, excuse me, in elementary school. Major Pain, that was my favorite movie, man. Okay. Well, shit, damn. Okay, back to, back, back to my top five <laughs> list. Damn, you've never about. seen Best Man Holiday. Okay, we're going to go Best Man Holiday, mm. Friday after next. Yeah. Um, Ice Cube did his thing, man. He really he got a Christmas thing. movie that people watch every yeah, year. every year. Bad Santa. Mm. Oh, shit, I forgot about Bad Santa. Yeah. Give me, give me Bad Santa. Um... What's the one we said earlier? The uh, one with Rafi? What's it? Oh, one? a Christmas store. A Christmas store. We, you know what I mean? Because they play that shit for 24 hours during Christmas. Right. I want that lamp, man. I got to have lamp? that leg lamp. I got to have that lamp. That would be dope. Yeah. Having a crib, a little leg lamp. I got it. Of course, it's going to be a black leg. <laughs> Chocolate leg lamp. <laughs> with, uh, with the... Um, What's what's like the little seat? What's the what's oh, fish net? The fish net. Yeah, <laughs> gotta yeah. add it. Girls don't wear them no more, man. Why? Yeah, what's up, ladies? Why y'all not wearing the fish nets? Why? Come on, now what we doing? <laughs> All right, so that's so I think that's my fault. I, I, in my mind, I thought it was more right. good Christmas, black Christmas movies than that. Well, this Christmas was art right, with Chris Brown. With Chris Brown, that was it. Yeah. Only thing that's sad about that movie because around the time that shit came out, that's when Chris Brown got in all that trouble. Yeah, man. And what's the movie with with Carrie Hilson? Carrie Hilson and the what's that guy? It's like a Christmas type movie where he was like, it was the comedian skinny dude. He be talking fast. Like all I remember was him on the ground in front of the house and they had a shotgun to him. It was, it was like a Tyler Perry movie, I think. Oh, Madea Christmas? Something like I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. It's straight. Yeah. yeah. It's straight. I like it. Okay. All right, man. I got a little gift for you, Bama. Oh, snap. Happy holidays. Oh, snap. And and, and all that good stuff. Uh, Appreciate that, man. Uh, you, you can open, you can open, you can open, open it up. up, man. Let's see. So I'm going to jump out. <laughs> that's That's... That's what my that's what my barber said too when I gave him his oh, gift. Man, I be getting. Uh, salute to Bama, man. This is your second time on the podcast. Okay. Got yeah, me a man. Cup. Oh, can, oh shit. You can uh, take that to your office. Oh yeah. Oh keychain. Yes sir. Appreciate yes, sir. you, man. Yes yeah. sir. This man. definitely gonna be in the office. Yes sir, man. Appreciate you, man. Put that on my key ring right now. What you got coming up, Bama man? What's 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 the future looking like looking like for you in 2024? I don't know, man. Hopefully, I'll be on. I'm trying to make it to Wildin' Out, man. I'm trying to just make my fan like people see more of my face. Okay. That's that's the goal. See more of my face. I'm trying to get a Super Bowl commercial too. Mm, I can see that. I can, see, um, I can definitely see Wildin' Out. I can definitely see. So. I can see anything, anything that you, I mean. You're a driven, you know, dude. So I can yeah, definitely man. see anything that you're, you know, you're striving for. But I got locked in with Chico. Chico Bean recently followed me. Really? Yeah, man. Really? Yeah. I took a picture with Chico Bean one yeah, time. Man. So I mean, my name is getting out there, man. You gotta hit that stage, though. Yeah, man. You gotta, gotta hit, hit that, that stage. stage. Gotta hit that stage. Gotta hit it. Yeah. So yeah, I man, I'm be probably like Charlie Goodnights. They moved to Cameron Village. Yeah, they're over there in Cameron yeah, Village. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. try to do one of them. Open, I know they have open o mics. Open mics. So yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah. try to get upstage. I just want my following to get up a little bit more. But mm -hmm. well, it's already up, but just a little bit more. Nah, I, mean, I think you just just go ahead. Just go ahead. Man. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Just, just just go ahead, man. And 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 I and man, I think, I think like, 
I can definitely see you being like one of the, you know what I mean, the biggest, you know what I mean, yeah, comedians. Trying to put North Carolina on the map. Man. Yeah. Show. Absolutely, man. Show, man. I'll man fuck with these. Again, man. Um, what you want for Christmas, man? What you want for Christmas? Before we get up out of here, what you want for Christmas? All honesty, man. Love. Love? Yeah, man. A little love? Yeah, man. That's all I want for Christmas. That's all you want for Christmas? Nothing, nothing physical, but just... Mm-hmm. I don't know. I want a Chevy Impala, man. 95. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do want a truck, though. I do want a truck. I want a 95 Chevy Impala, Impala for Christmas. Oh, it's somewhere around. Somebody got that. You talking about the wide body, the old police car? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, little 22. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'll definitely get one of them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, my goal, I'm trying to get a truck. So I might get a truck for Christmas. Mm. Yeah, man. Tell the people where they can find you at, man. Tell them where they can find you at, where they can follow you the whole nine, man. Follow me on everything. Bama Got Jokes. B-A-M-A-G-O-T-J-O-K-E-S. Everything. Bama Got Jokes. All day long, man. Yes, sir. Man, Bama, thank you for coming, man. No doubt, um, man. I appreciate you yes, for having sir. me. Yeah, thank absolutely. you for my gift. Yeah, man. Christmas came early. Can't say you ain't get shit. Right, right, right. Can't say I ain't get nothing, but I, hey. Got you, got you a mug. You can put some. Uh, uh, it's gonna be used for tea. For tea. Tea, man. My green tea. Okay. When I see you on live next time, now I need to see the mug. Oh yeah, you are gonna see the mug. <laughs> it's gonna have some wine in it though. Some wine in it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say less. Say less, some man. Wine, man. Hey, man. Happy holidays to everybody, man. Just right. enjoy this time with your family. Enjoy it, man. Because you know, like I said, man. The rest of the year, we act like we don't care about each other. So. Right. And definitely and, um, enjoy this time with your friends and your families, man. Uh, again, I got to say salute to my brother, uh, Rello. Uh, get back home safely. Uh, man, and why do you love New York so much? Why do you, <laughs> like, this nigga, like, he, he works out of town and shit. Like, he works out of town. Mm-hmm. His job center in New York. This nigga was like, pure. Yeah, yeah man. I got to go to New York. I only drove through. I ain't never stopped yeah, in New, New York. Yeah, man. That shit for the real ones. I just probably would stick out, man. Yeah, like, they, yeah. where you from? You know I'm from down? Yeah, real ones. <laughs> Me personally, I'm a South nigga. Like, yeah. nigga, I love Atlanta. Right. I love Atlanta. Best city in the world to me. Uh, but Rello, definitely get back safe. And, um, yeah, can't, can't wait to see you on the next one. Uh, salute to uh, New Future Flash as well. Uh, thanks to everybody that's been watching us on the live. Appreciate y'all, man. Uh, salute to Jose. Uh, yeah, man. All right, man. You know how we end this thing every week, man. Keep God first, and I promise everything else will work itself out. No lies being told. No lies being no told. Lie. Best Conversation Podcast. Get you a mug or something. Oh. What?